Uh, good afternoon. My name is Mike Lanahan. I'm with Greystone Communities. We very much appreciate the opportunity to be at Leading Age today. We're going to discuss uh, issues and opportunities with continuing care retirement communities. Greystone has seen a lot of change with over 500 clients in our 30 years in the senior living business, as I'm sure many of you have. One constant we have found is that new ideas have provided a significant competitive advantage to any organization. We'd like to share some of the ideas and opportunities we're discussing with our clients on a daily basis. Is your organization Kodak or Apple? Kodak filed for bankruptcy in 2012 after 124 years in business. After only 35 years, Apple became the most valuable company on the planet in 2012. How do you know if you have a viable business model? How do you know when it's time to redirect your organization? Are you challenging your mission or have you achieved it? Are you satisfied just managing your legacy? Has your planning been guided by your rearview mirror? Our destiny is not given to us. It is constructed by us. Have you identified the resources necessary to achieve your mission? First, you must understand the opportunities in your market. Then assess your internal resources, both human and capital, that are available to you. And complement them with the necessary external resources, both human and capital, to assure you achieve your goals. Do you know what your competition is doing? Do you know who your competition is? While others may look like you, not all are directly competitive. However, this landscape may be changing. We believe the winners will be those who have been planning and moving forward, not those who have been waiting for markets to stabilize. Have you considered the 30 million new customers who will be arriving over the next 20 years? Your competition has, and the for-profits will definitely be coming to your neighborhood over the next 10 years. Is your organization sufficiently nimble to respond to this accelerating pace of change? Have you factored health care reform into your plans as well? Does your current business model match today's customer preferences? Does your business mix reflect your market's needs? And will your business model continue to be supportable in the future? While your customer demands are increasing, their needs are also becoming more acute, requiring more specialty health care. Is your value proposition a competitive advantage? Why should a resident choose your community? What advantages do you offer? Do you have a comprehensive array of services? Do you provide for aging in place? Do you have a life care plan? Is hospitality part of your core culture? Are you aggressively selling your product? Or are you hoping your brand will be sufficient to meet your goals? Well, we know that hope is not a strategy. But do you understand that senior living is sold and not bought? Does your marketing staff have the tools necessary to succeed? And do you view marketing as an investment or do you view it as a cost? How will you do more with less in the future? Deliver the same quality services with lower incomes and lower home values while at the same time experiencing higher operating costs, higher construction costs, and higher cost of capital. We know your customers are expecting the same or greater value from their community. Does equal opportunity assure equal results? The short answer is no. But why do some organizations seem to achieve greater success sooner? How do you define success? How do you get the information necessary to make informed decisions? Do you have the right partners assisting in these efforts? How about your balance sheet? You've managed operations well with increasing occupancy and becoming more efficient, improving your margins. But has your enterprise grown? Do all stakeholders see the same opportunity? And have you properly identified the risks? Do you have the resources to properly manage these risks? Are your buildings obsolete? The average age of a senior living community today is over 20 years. That's a competitive disadvantage with newer product in many markets. Will you be able to win a more demanding customer, respond to changing customer needs, or even remain relevant? Will the capital markets continue to fund your mission? to change, to grow your market share? Yes, if human capital is aggressively leading your organization. Yes, if your business model is a sustainable platform well into the future. But no, if your business mix and market needs are not aligned. The capital markets take no prisoners, and only the strong will survive. Who will lead your organization through change and growth? 
It's estimated that over 50% of today's senior executives will retire over the next 10 years. Do you have a plan for succession that will replace this experience and skill set? This knowledge is your power to compete and to succeed. What is your hedgehog concept? Jim Collins, the author, taught us to combine our passion with our competitive advantage to be a successful business. How will you challenge your organization? Are you inspired by pain or by vision? How will you achieve your hedgehog concept? How will you protect your investment? For over 100 years, leading age members have built this industry, and the CCRC has proven to be the most sustainable business model, as evidenced by how it weathered the last three years. Grow your investment. Respond to the opportunities in your market. Don't let others take advantage of your investments. Is your board prepared for the challenges? Senior living is a difficult, complex business. Your board should understand the challenges and at the same time embrace the opportunities. Their primary job is to position you well for future success. And to do this, they must be committed to growth for you and your business. And they must be fully engaged in your business as well. So back to the beginning, are you Kodak or Apple? Has your human capital developed a sustainable business model for the future? Will you remain relevant in a rapidly changing competitive world? Or will you allow more innovative and aggressive organizations to control your future? We look forward to hearing your ideas and thoughts on these issues, and we certainly thank you for your time this afternoon.